We are the victims of history. We wait wrong in our thinking and also in our actions. Khadi fasal ke andar se nahi ja sakte. We have to build our doctrines. We have to build our equipment. We have to build our preparations and training and everything, keeping in view the overall ecosystem and the environment in which we are working. We did not update and upgrade ourselves. When you defeat them on the battleground, the nation is prepared to have peace with you on your terms. Social media ki credibility. Ab kafi dhire dhire karke erode ho rahi. Indian Army ke baare mein bhi. Kya chizen jo aati hain, wo bilkul yeh hai ki jisse ek hamari country ki defence forces ka morale down. सोशल मीडिया को तो सोशल मीडिया के थ्रू ही काउंटर करना पड़ेगा फर्स्टली लेट मी थैंक जल बख्शी फॉर द बुक एंड नॉट फॉर द रीजन दैट मेनी ऑफ यू वाई इज दिस बुक इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वाई आई कंसिडर इट टू बी ए वेरी वेरी ग्रेट अपॉइंट वाई डू वी फाइट द वॉर्स इज इट्स अ वाइकेरियस प्लेजर दैट वी गेट in killing the adversaries human resource and the capital what is it what do we want to achieve whatever our military objectives or political objectives may be how do we want to achieve it we achieve it by breaking the will of the nation and defeating its army breaks their will that is why it is important when you defeat them on the battleground the nation is prepared to have peace with you on your terms so whether it is ukraine russia or it is second war it is any war and at the end of it it is that you want to do that but what happens if the people don't have the national will at all do you need any this one of the major tasks that we neglected and we should have this thing or to the extent it should have been done was creating the national will strengthening it way back about 100 years about 100 and quarter 125 years back but the one person who rose to do that was swami vivekananda that is when he say uttishta bharat o india rise idea was this the create that national will and i must compliment that in the same tradition general bakshi's books his narratives his discourses they may look little outlandish at times and it work can have his own criticism but the fact remains that the idea behind that is to know who you are understand yourself realize your potential realize your past your past will give you an idea that you were able to accomplish what uh, you have been denied by the unfortunate course of history we are the victims of history but probably we have not learned many lessons it's all very great to say and it is right it's true that our past was very glorious it is also true that we had everything the intellectualism they had a great uh, um, uh, understanding of war security national purposes and others but probably in spite of all that in spite of the economic uh, prosperity of the country in spite of the huge manpower resources that we had why is it that we are bruised by the history of the history wrong us we have got to accept the reality as it is and not as we wish it to be if we glorify our past it is important to build our will and our confidence as a nation but it is not sufficient we have to first analyze and i wish the general bakshi writes some book on that where did we fail we went wrong in our thinking and also in our actions one of the reasons were we failed was that 
we considered the strategy the norms the rules the values the laws that will govern your engagement with the adversary will be on your terms by your process by your thinking strategy making or war is never a binary it's never a singular unitary equation it is with a with some objective or an adversary or a chief thing that you want there is more than one entity now i am reminded of the some of the extra, the book that mentor one of the greek general secretary some of his memoirs which i mentioned which is in one of the books in uh, vivekananda foundation which i read there later who came to be known as milind in the indian history he converted to hinduism and buddhism and then to hinduism he said that well when we came here we found that is a very strange practice whereas we could come on our horses and go across the fields the indian soldiers will pass through the lanes because according to their law according to their traditions according to their values they could not this thing khadi fasal ke andar se nahi ja sakte ped nahi kaat sakte surya astho hone ke baad kisi ko maar nahi sakte yuddh se pehle sangh ho jayenge jis tarah se aa rahe now we thought these are our practices hum hi kya lad rahe dusra bhi tarah ke is it that we have got to be we have got to make our strategies we have to build our doctrines we have to build our equipment we have to build our preparations and training and everything keeping in view the overall ecosystem and the environment in which we work and it is not as we wish it to be this persistently had been one of our shortcomings we did not update and upgrade ourselves when we brought in horses because others were having it probably it was too late but then we didn't bring in the sit ups there so we were sitting on the horsebacks over the blanket where they could stand on the these things and uh, fight with their swords or when the gunpowder came the similar things happened so we did not adjust to the environment the slow adaptability of the indian mind people who change fast they are the only one who will be able to leave the adversities behind we should be very quick and it should be something that we can do things we can surprise the people over time we do the things and wait for this thing that is very important civilization i thought another is all these things require a decision making whether it's a small decision that a platoon commander makes or it is a mighty big decision that the prime minister makes it all is a game in the life is our decision making and everybody makes decisions with good intentions according to what he has been trained according to what his education his mental caliber his this things are why did say in a certain period of time we are talking about greeks uh, came and chalukya did very great this thing he changed the fighting culture but if we accept the reality it is not only the greeks after that the kushans came the sakya the parthians came the lysians came it is mughal the chatra they came much later islam came much later but we were constantly being this thing by these groups and others kushans came from uzbekistan uh, that tashkan so this uh, the area, area uh, bordering uzbekistan and tajikistan and then established but they became the kushan dynasty and kanishka was one of the great there is different thing that they contributed a lot but the fact is that they were outsiders they were in and then it got stabilized with the gupta dynasty came and then immediately after the gupta dynasty we think when india was at the height of its prosperity 
said the golden uh, sony ki chidiya and all these things that used to be said that is we started with the the, the invasions that came started from the islamic this things from bin qasim to the others to from it so that started that was when it was at the pinnacle of its economic prosperity and it is true and it is everybody even today understand uh, made this thing that when kosha was considered to be the extremely important <coughs> pillar of a state system you remember we made wrong choices and because we thought what will govern the ma- making the choices will again be governed by what we thought our sense of righteousness our sense of what is dharma our sense of what is correct and john bakshi gave some very eloquent examples and that we did not consider it's all important i'm not telling they are not important but what is most important is ultimately the choice mm-hmm. exercising your choice is a function of your capability it is just like this what can you buy in the market depends upon how much money you got in your pocket you can buy a mercedes or you can't even afford a cycle we did not build our capabilities proportionate to what our threats were and what we were capable of doing. we had the manpower we had the economic strength we had the geographical expanse we had in a way borders that could be well protected because we had the himalayas on our north we had the desert and these things on our west and then we had to see this thing etc we could have built up when most of these people were still very very underdeveloped and this thing we didn't we, didn't. we should what we have got to learn is that if you have got to make the right choices and even if there are people who had the courage and the chivalry to make the right choices probably the capabilities were not there at the different stages you know even gandhi ji when he said and you go very deep and study the history that he will go for ends or non violent movement because he felt that we don't have the capability of exercising the choice of confronting the british in the battle front that is what he just like thought both thought otherwise he thought that if you could mobilize the whole country but the country is mobilized if there is that national will where is that how many people still where at even at that time and others they had sympathy they had regard they have got acceptance of what subhas bos was doing but they didn't have the courage to go and stand by him or send their children to fight that okay leave your this thing go i'm not talking about the people in the army i'm talking about the general public how many people when you say the demographic war and others or the demographic this thing and others how do you think that the injustice has done that the particular demography behaved in a particular way that is the biggest strength of the we are civilizationally people who lacked collectivism when we wanted to achieve the highest spiritual status we abandoned even our family our children our wife and everything went to the himalayas with the commander or something in that we never prayed together like in namaz and others collectivity was not about this thing we excel in our isolation our individualism takes over and nationhood or a community or a society and others are all collective functions so in our strategy if we have to bring that collectivism that this thing it is only when the society feels empowered and has got the choices so capability building capability is more important than intentions i can change my intentions and offer our if you say that well i have got the choice that i can attack x and achieve my military or political objective or i can go for a uh, discussion around the table and for a diplomatic talk i got both the options open then it is relevant to say why did you not go for a war when you could but how could you go for a war when we had no option so first build those options 
एंड देन एक्सरसाइज द चॉइसिस सोशल मीडिया की क्रेडिबिलिटी अब काफी धीरे धीरे करके इरोड हो रही है आज से तीन साल पहले जो सोशल मीडिया में आता था और जितना उसका प्रभाव होता था समाज में आज उसका प्रभाव थोड़ा कम हो रहा है तो हमारे को थोड़ा जितनी अगर आपके पास टाइम हो और ये आपके पास ऐसे कुछ लोग हो जो वॉलेंटियर ऐसे कर सकते हैं सोशल मीडिया के अंदर कुछ इस तरह की स्टोरीज को देखें जिसके अंदर टोटल ब्लैटेंट लाइफ जो है उनको आप उजागर कर सके विद ए वेरी ऑथेंटिक थिंग आप उसका जवाब दें आपके पास कोई फोटोग्राफ हो आपके पास में कोई इस तरह जैसे यू नो इंडियन आर्मी के बारे में कई चीजें जो आती हैं वो बिल्कुल ये है कि जिससे हमारी कंट्री की डिफेंस फोर्सेस का मोरल डाउन है कभी कभी वो इस तरह की चीजें अपनी यूनिट्स के बारे में या हमारे अफसरों के बारे में लिखते हैं जिससे कि जवानों का फेथ या कॉन्फिडेंस अपनी लीडरशिप पर शेक हो जाए तो आप लोग ऐसे एक्ट हुए इसको स्ट्रांगली रजिस्टर कर सकते इसी तरह से सरकार के अंदर में कई चीजों के बारे में ऐसा कहा जाता है जो कि बातें बिल्कुल गलत है तो अगर डिफेंस फोर्सेस के लोग रिटायर्ड लोग किस तरह से वो करें तो एक वो कर सकते हैं एक बात यह है कि अगर रिसर्च हो सके और काम करने का टाइम हो किसी पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक जिसमें आपका इंटरेस्ट भी हो ये हो उसमें कुछ करके सोशल मीडिया में कुछ समय समय पर फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स बने जब कोई घटना घटती क्योंकि सोशल मीडिया के अंदर में ये देखा गया है कि मान लिया जाए कोई घटना घटी उसके अंदर में जो ट्रैश आना शुरू होता है वो पहले चार घंटे छह घंटे के अंदर में नेगेटिव को डोमिनेट कर देता है उसके बाद में जो आते हैं उसके ऊपर में इतना अधिक ध्यान लोगों का नहीं जाता If you could be the first respondents of something that it is this thing, अब ये भी होता है कि भाई अगर आपको कोई चीज रिपोर्ट नहीं करनी है तो आप फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्डेंट कैसे हो सकते हैं पर यह हो सकता है आप इसको किसी चीज को अगर आप सोचते हैं कि जैसे कोई घटना घट जाती है जिसमें यह आया कि फर्स्ट के लिए कश्मीर के अंदर में किसी गांव के अंदर में कोई ऐसी घटना घटी जिसमें सोल्जर्स ने कोई ऐसा काम किया जो कि लोगों ने वो मतलब एक चीज अखबार में है तो फिर आप अपना सही पर्सपेक्टिव अपना थोड़ा पूछिए अपना थोड़ा सही करके अगर पहले 500 700 आइटम्स जो है उसके अंदर में एक सही पर्सपेक्टिव में एक सही चीजों को अच्छे रूप में बताया जा सके उसके बाद में जब तीन घंटे के बाद चार घंटे के बाद में जब बाकी नेगेटिव शुरू होता है तब तक स्टेल हो जाता है और हमारे यहां जो ज्यादा रीजनेबल वो आते हैं वो करीबन अठारह बारह घंटे सोलह घंटे अठारह घंटे के बाद है उसको कोई नहीं पड़ता इट इज वेरी लेट तो ये हो ये है थोड़ा सा बाकी मेरे ख्याल से देश के अंदर भी पेट्रेट्स की कमी भी नहीं है बहुत सारे लोग हैं नेशनलिस्ट हैं लिखते भी हैं ये भी करते हैं लेकिन दुखों के पास कुछ टाइम कम होता है थोड़ा टाइम निकालना पड़ता है थोड़ा सा एफर्ट करना पड़ता है सोशल मीडिया को तो सोशल मीडिया के थ्रू ही काउंटर करना पड़ता है एक बात यह होती कभी कभी कि क्या सरकार को कानून बनाने चाहिए सोशल मीडिया को अब कुछ तो है जहां पर किसी की लाइफ का थ्रेट है या कुछ है लेकिन अगर हम सोशल मीडिया के थ्रू लोगों की आवाज को ये करें उसका नेगेटिव असर ज्यादा होगा शायद इसका धीरे धीरे प्रभाव जो है सोशल मीडिया इतना प्रभावित नहीं रहेगा